Hey, uh, welcome everyone to the uh, Cloud Tech Talks uh, channel. Uh, today, um, we will be doing a, a walkthrough of uh, Amazon AWS portal. So if you look at the, uh, the URL, it's uh, aws.amazon.com and now I've already created a test user. So, um, so once you uh, go to the aws.amazon.com, just click on the sign into the console. So once you click on sign into the console, we have two options. One is login as a uh, root user and the second one is uh, I am user. Root user is the, the super admin or the administrator with full permissions. So currently uh, I have that uh, root user permission. So let me quickly log on. And uh, just go ahead and type in the password. All right, so um, if you look at the URL, it got changed now. It is logging default to US East to console.aws.amazon.com. Currently, I don't have any services. That's why it is not showing uh, any services. Okay. So this is how uh, the AWS uh, management console is. Let's explore uh, the important uh, features of the comp of the uh, console. So if I go to the profile, I can see my account, my organization, my service quotas, billing dashboard, and security credentials. So click on my account and let's see what. Uh, as we know, in in, in Azure, we have uh, you know uh, the the tenant ID, the subscription, all that. So here uh, the account ID we have. This is the account ID, the account name and the password, the contact information, right? So we have bunch of other options here. Uh, so one is the cost explorer, budgets, budget reports, saving plans, cost and usage reports, cost categories, allocation credits, bill, purchase orders, and all these things. Okay. So, and here you can see uh, which region you can go to enable to provision the resources. You can do it from the settings here. Okay, so there are a few uh, which are not enabled by default, like Middle East, Africa, Asia specific, Hong Kong, Europe, Milan. So you don't have to, um, you know, enable them from this uh, account settings. So I want to look at my organization. So let's see what it shows under my organization okay so currently i don't have any organization so i would like to go ahead and create a new organization click on create organization it says uh, this creates an organization that provides a single a pair with and centralized cost tracking create an invite account allows you to apply policy based controls and helps you simplify organization-wide management of AWS services. Let's do it. So uh, clicked on, um, so it says your organization has been created. We sent a verification email to my Gmail ID. Go ahead and, um, all right. So let me quickly go to my mail ID and let's see. Let me refresh it. All right, so this there is a confirmation email that you know, um, so you will be receiving an, a confirmation email to your uh, mail address. So click on verify your mail address. So, yeah, so your email address has been verified. Now, let's see. So Okay, so here I see there is there is one account, there is new. These are the service control policies, stack policies, backup policy currently in disable mode. So Okay, there is an account created. So this is an account, Cloud Tech Talk. 
okay so that's my um, organization uh, account okay if I go again go to here my organizations see the account name is cloud tech talk this is the email ID this is the account ID want you can go ahead and create um, organization unit all right so the next thing is about um, the service quotas so let's see what um, features is giving in service quotas when compared to the Azure portal so there are these are service quotas specific to these services. I can see uh, the Amazon EC2, Amazon uh, Virtual Private Cloud, the Amazon Relational Database Service, the RDS, DynamoDB, EBS, Elastic uh, Block Store, AWS Lambda, Athena, Cloud Formation. So let's see um, the cloud compute, um, the service quotas. Okay, so. All right, so these are various instances. FG, P, there are like a lot of spot instances. You can, um, and there are other, lot of services. History, uh, you can, you can configure the service quota for, for those particular services. And my billing dashboard, since this is a, uh, a trial, so you don't see much, you don't see any usage actually. So that's why it's not showing. Okay. All right. My security credentials. All right. So you have to, I mean, this is where you manage the credential for the, your uh, AWS account. So you can generate, uh, uh, this is uh, the password or MFA access keys, cloud friend pairs, any certificate or any account identifiers this is where you can configure all those settings here okay so just good let's go back to the other uh, main console ones okay so so they they gave like you know you can go ahead and uh, build a solution using the following options ready made if i want to click on uh, see more let's see so launch a virtual machine, build a web app, build using virtual servers, register a domain, connect an IoT device, start migrating to AWS, project, development project, serverless microservice, host a static web app. So we will cover these things in detail in the coming sessions. However, I would like to go to these services once. So yeah, so I can see uh, a compute under which we have various cloud services, robotics, machine learning, AR and VR, application integration, storage, satellite, quantum technologies, AWS cost management, customer engagement, management and governance, database, migration and transfer, analytics, business applications, end user computing, IoT, security, identity and compliance, networking and content um, delivery media services developer tools front end and web app mobile containers game development so there are plenty plenty of categories here um which however um so you know this is uh, the compute part where we can go ahead and create the uh, the vms and all that this is the back end storage these are the databases and migration and transfer so these are the few uh, uh services we're going to cover and um, you can see uh, my uh, the current account is East US 2, East US, East uh, US East Ohio. Okay, but however, you can go ahead and change the, the location if you want. And this is the, the support center or the forums, the documentation, training you can access and uh, what else we have so let's go back to the main console let's see you can also download the aws console mobile app 
uh, both for iOS and Android devices here and submit the feedback yeah so here uh, there are a few um, learn to build a few topics here right so so this is what about the AWS console uh, management right what we covered so far is what do, what uh, do we see under my account my organization service quotas billing dashboard my security credentials and and uh, the the services categories we explored so uh, in the coming sessions we'll be covering a lot of uh, you know compute storage and databases so guys um, uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day bye for now